Hey, what's up? This is Jared with the iPhone App Podcast. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to create ringtones for free. If you didn't know that you could do this, you can actually use GarageBand to create ringtones for free, which is pretty awesome because uh, iTunes does a good job with ringtones, but you do have to own the music from iTunes. You would have have to have already purchased it. And a lot of us have music that we've bought in other ways, not from iTunes, and so it kind of limits us. But if you are on a Mac and you have GarageBand, then you can create ringtones for free using your music. So you just need to open up GarageBand. So I'm going to do that here. Open up GarageBand, and it's going to ask me if I want to create a new project. Now you're going to need GarageBand 08, I believe, the latest version. If you have 07, I don't know if it works. If you have 06 or any earlier versions, then it's definitely not going to work because the iTunes wasn't even the iPhone wasn't even in existence then. So let's create a new music project and I'm just gonna call this ringtone and open it up. Now if you'll notice down here there's this bar that shows up that actually shows the key functions that I'm using so you can uh, and I'm gonna say them too but you can see the keys that I'm using as well. So we don't need the piano so let's close that we don't need this grand piano here, so you can click on it and hit Command and Delete and actually delete that. Down here in the right-hand corner is our media browser. We're going to need that. Give me a little bit of room to see here. And my music will load up momentarily. There it is. So I'm going to click on Artist to get everything in alphabetical order here and I'm gonna scroll down to an audio track I've already decided which one I want to use um, but you can actually click on um, on audio tracks and then click play right here to sample it so you can see if it's the track that you're wanting and once you have found the track that you want click and drag it over here into your timeline and right at the beginning let off and it's going to import that file into the timeline and convert it so that it can be used as a ringtone. So let's let that happen here. Um, all right, we're good now. So you've got our entire track. Kind of a funky track, uh, but it should make an interesting ringtone. Um, we've got our entire track in here, which obviously is not gonna work good for a ringtone. Um, now that I've got our track in here, uh, I want to get rid of the media browser so I have some more room, so let's get that out of the way. And uh, go up to share and hit send ringtone to iTunes. So it's going to ask us to clip that uh, and adjust it so that because we've got to have 40 seconds or less. So it's going to bring in this little bar here um, where we can actually use this bar to create our ringtone timeline. So um, you could just drag it to the portion of the song. You, you can listen to... <laughs> Listen to the song until you find that spot and then drag it to the playhead and figure out where it is that you want to start your ringtone from. Now, down here we have a little control that lets you actually zoom in quite a bit, so that way you can really fine-tune where you want your track to start. And then uh, I'm going to zoom back out and grab you can see when you mouse over the end here you get this deal so you can adjust the length of the track here so I'm gonna bring it out a little bit and see where I'm at alright that's not very it doesn't flow too well for me yet so let's drag this all the way out to here and let's zoom in let's bring the playhead down there and then let's zoom in move over just a little bit so we can see what we're doing here and bring the end of our track to about right there alright now let's zoom I don't know if I like that scribbly sound at the beginning or whatever so let's uh, let's zoom back in get our playhead back here alright so I could shrink that down to about right here 
All right, now let's go back to the end. Oh, that sounds pretty good. That sounds really good. Okay, so now we're good. We've got our ringtone ready to go. You hit share, go send ringtone to iTunes. Oh, it's probably a little too long. So it, I hit apply and it says that's as far as you can go with your selection space. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice here a little bit probably. Um, or I can move this down to the end and find a better start point. But for the sake of time, we're just gonna leave it where it's at. I'm gonna go back up to share and go send ringtone to iTunes and it's gonna actually do all that work now. So while it's doing that work, well, it's gonna do it and then play the ringtone. So it's not a good time for me to mention our sponsors yet. But so now we've got our ringtone. Sounding good, but it's just called ringtone. So, I mean, you could do a couple of things. You could uh, double click on the name here or click once and then click again and actually give it the name. I'm gonna call it uh, Flying Lotus because that's the actual name of the band. Or you can hit Command and I and it will open up your info palette here and you can, or info window and you can make those changes. So now that we've got it there, uh, we need to get it into the phone, of course. So we go over to our phone, get a plug in your phone, and you'll see that it shows up there in the ringtones. I'm going to go ahead and hit sync to sync my phone and get the ringtone over, and you'll see that it's doing that and it's syncing the other stuff to my phone. So, and then now it's good to disconnect. So I'm going to disconnect my phone. Obviously, you can't see what I'm doing with my phone, but I'm going into settings. And then I'm going down into phone under settings. Oops, I'm sorry, not phone. Sounds under settings. And then under ringtone, I can choose Flying Lotus. And now I've got my ringtone. How awesome is that? That is how you create ringtones with GarageBand on your Mac for free using any audio track that you have already on your computer, whether you bought it from iTunes or not, you can create ringtones on your own without having to buy them from iTunes. So pretty exciting stuff. So the iPhone app podcast is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, who offers our viewers or my viewers of the iPhone app podcast some discount codes. If you are a web person or you're looking to build a website or do anything like that, we've got some coupon codes for you. You can enter the coupon code iPhone, that's just the word iPhone, and save 10% off your order. If you have an order of $30 or more, you could enter the coupon code iPhone1 and save $5 off your order. Or you can uh, enter the coupon code iPhone2 and get any .com for six ninety five dollars per year. Uh, registered at GoDaddy.com. So these are just a couple ways to save you a little bit of money over at GoDaddy. By using these coupon codes, it saves you money and it actually helps support the iPhone app podcast and helps me pay for all of uh, this nonsense that it takes to put these things together. So would appreciate your support uh, whenever you use GoDaddy for domain registration or web hosting or any of that good stuff. So with GoDaddy, some restrictions apply. See their site for details. Get your piece of the internet, godaddy.com. This is Jared with the iPhone app podcast, and we'll see you next time.